Donald. What LeBron has already done is unprecedented. Um, forget about the cliff I talked about for Brady and him now beating it by a week. LeBron has done this for years longer than anyone who's ever been the best player in the game has maintained that position for years longer. And, and Stephen A. disagrees, but I think it ain't close. However, eventually, Father Time wins. Father Time's undefeated. The only question is when. And I'm saying it's this year. I think partly because LeBron is going to a team who didn't just surround him with shooters to be the only playmaker, but surrounded him with playmakers and other guys who can get their own shot and make things happen and even run the point, not just Rondo and Lonzo Ball, but Brandon Ingram. He, they surround him with those kind of players, so he's going to cede some responsibility. That'll depress his numbers a little bit. He also doesn't play defense for most of the season. He turns it up in the playoffs. But there's a guy out there right now, Stephen A., who plays defense all season, as well as it can be played, who fills it up to the tune of about 30 points a game, double-digit rebounds, leads the league in blocks, whose per-minute production has put him right there I would say slightly above KD in recent years, but right there with KD or Kawhi or anyone, but who's younger, taller, has, by the way, has less around him, so he's going to have to do more, and whose only knock against him has been that he's been hurt a lot, but the last two seasons consecutively has played 75 games, basically a full season, and that is Anthony Davis. By the end of this season... Anthony Davis will be recognized as the best player in the NBA. I disagree. Um, and I love Anthony Davis. I think he is the real deal. I think he's one of the top three players in the world. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I don't want to see any list that doesn't have LeBron, Kevin Durant, and, and Anthony Davis as the top three. I just don't want to even see the list. It, it, it's a waste of my time. Uh, Kevin Durant, uh, listen, let me say this about LeBron. Okay. With his credentials, he deserves to be the tops in the world right now. There's no doubt about that. The other side to this is that Max and I part uh, as wide as the ocean when it comes to LeBron being oceans apart from Kevin Durant. I honestly, sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, respectfully tell you, I don't think you know what the hell you're talking about on that. <laughs> I really don't feel that way. Because let me tell you something right now. Kevin Durant is so big time. He might be the greatest scorer in history when this is all said and done. This man is on that level. Not only that, he's a slick passer, underrated. He's now become a defensive stopper. He's a rim protector because he's blocking shots more. Kevin Durant is doing it all. Years ago, that may have been the case where we only looked at him offensively. How his game has evolved, he has not only told LeBron James he's coming, he's arrived. When LeBron James averaged a triple-double in the NBA Finals, Kevin Durant averaged 35-8 and eight on better than 50% shooting. We saw what he did in Game 3 last year with the 43. This brother is on another level looking at Kevin, at, at Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. Like, really? Y'all don't know? Y'all don't know what time it is? Y'all don't know to give me the damn ball? What's the matter with y'all? This is, this is Kevin Durant. Yeah. Now, I look at Anthony Davis. Here's my problem with Anthony Davis. Nothing about his game, Max. Yeah. We just might not notice. Because he's in New Orleans, and the fact is they gave up Rondo, which I think was a huge mistake that they didn't find the money to give Rondo. Because Rondo, with Drew Holiday, made for a pretty impressive backcourt that helped Anthony Davis. Getting rid of Rondo, but adding Julius Randle, I don't think does much for the Pelicans. And as a result, I think he's going to be compromised. I think Anthony Davis knows it, which is why he changed agents, which is why I believe he's going to be looking to leave after the season. So I'm not questioning but everyone anything about know, skill. Everyone knows that they're not a good team. They don't have enough good parts. Mm -hmm. uh, Drew Holiday's big time in the playoffs. But other than that, and therefore, when they make the playoffs, mm -hmm. it's all going to be Anthony Davis that gets the credit. And I want to speak to something about Anthony Davis's offense, right? P-E-R is a good shorthand measure for I'll a give guy's you that. I'll offensive give you that. contributions, I'll give you that. right? Not only is A.D. in his age 25 season only, not going to be 30 like K.D., 25 years old. Yeah, he's a his, baby. His lifetime P.E.R., his average, is 27. K 27. K.D.'s is 25. Mm -hmm. Last year, it was close to 29. K.D. was 26. Let me tell In you other words, let me just say Go that ahead. the most advanced, and that, that, that has a lot to do with efficiency, not just how many shots you're taking, stuff like I that. I agree, but... Now, who's better defensively? Time, time, K.D.'s a good defender. Who's better defensively? Well, Anthony Davis is better defensively. Okay. But, 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 wait There's wait offense and defense. Well, what else is well, there? Wait a minute. No, Max, because he's asked to do more. You can't be... You can't. Listen, let me explain something to you when we're talking basketball here. If you, and I'm not being disrespectful in any way, I'm just being, what I'm saying to you is this. Rhythm matters, man. If I get on the court, right, mm -hmm. but I'm playing with a couple of all-stars, 
I'm sharing. If it's mine, it's mine. That's Anthony Davis. The fa- He's your first and Let me second answer that. option. Let me answer that. Kevin Durant doesn't even want to be. Let me be. answer that. Rhythm does matter. 